Hey Collective, today we're going to do an energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just really want to thank everybody for the support of the channel and the support of one another. I hope everybody's doing well today. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the reading. So... <clears throat> the first card up is sweetheart and what's crossing that is stop so there's something about somebody's romantic partnership or a partnership being stopped or a partnership being broken up in the recent past i'm sorry in the distant past there's something about somebody being deceptive and wearing a mask whoever this is this person could have recently gotten to a place of feeling guilty or wanting forgiveness or wanting to apologize to you this person may have actually reached out to apologize to you or this could be the energy that they're in in the future what's coming up here for this person is something about suffering and darkness and persecution this person could feel like they're being left out in the cold or like they are um, this person doesn't look like they're in a very good headspace whoever this is There's something about mm, imagination, fantasy, mind. What is this? And friendship. So there's a collaboration here, or this person could be daydreaming about wanting to become friends with you again after a long period of conflict or there's something about them being delusional is what I'm getting because they've been in an energy of conflict or fighting with you or they could come back towards you and it's like they're trying to to force a connection but for whatever reason it's saying that they're delusional there's something about forcing something together or a friendship that is a fantasy and there's conflict around it is the way that this is showing up <clears throat> so you could be receiving a gift it looks like for you your energy is very relaxed this person could be offering you a gift this gift could be from the divine. There's something about you relaxing because you are preserving your energy or you don't feel like you need to engage in whatever this is. This person is having some sort of an awakening because they are feeling like they have a disturbance on them or they are irritated or there's something that they're waking up to and it has to do with irritation or it has to do with something within their personality like something about their personality that they're let me make sure hmm. somebody could reach out to you and be doing something to try to irritate you and they're doing this out of pride There's something here about somebody trying to rob you of something or exploit some information and there's going to be good news around that. This good news could have something to do with a group of people or there's some, it's weird the way that it's showing is like there's a lot of people involved in whatever this is but it shows up as good news. And these people could be gossiping. These people could be in some sort of an alliance with each other. There's something about these people trying to exploit you, but it's showing up as good news. So it's like someone tries to exploit a situation and it turns out to be good news for you. Somebody could try to bribe you with something. 
whoever this is, it looks like in the distant past, what started all of this, <laughs> this deception had something to do with a blessing that belonged to you. Or some sort of fulfillment or something to do with your well-being that somebody tried to be deceptive around. This good news could have something to do with somebody saying that you were unwell, but it's like this is seen that you're, you are somebody who's just very enlightened and you're not, um, the, whatever it is that you're doing, like you not engaging in, in something with somebody, they could have tried to take it and turn it into, oh, well, this person just doesn't care. They don't care about what it is that I'm saying. They don't care about the situation that we're all involved in. They're saying something like that. But really, it's just you know that you can't engage with somebody who is not... Anybody who's committed to misunderstanding you, there's no reason to, to talk to them. Um, and that's a very simple form of whatever it is that I'm seeing here. But there's something about somebody trying to mask your enlightenment is the way that it, it's showing. <clears throat> like you being aware of this person spiritually or emotionally or just ethically and choosing not to engage in something with this person they're trying to take this and make it like you don't care about whatever it is that you're involved in with them and this person could feel guilty or in the recent past they could have felt guilty all of a sudden about trying to to win at all costs or trying to to get something out of whatever this is or trying to use what is this see but the way this is showing also is this person they could have come to you to try to apologize or do something that seemed like they were at a in a space of Maybe confessing something to you or asking for forgiveness. But really they were still in the background using something about your past to try to, to gain something. And this has stressed this person out for some reason. These, this energy is a little bit muddled. Because it's like this person is, all of it, whenever it's coming out, it's being masked with something else. And coming up in the future, this, them trying to steal a blessing or, or do something where they're pretending or being inconsistent or deceptive around something that was a fulfillment for you or something to do with your enlightenment leads up to this person's stress. This has to do with, see in both of these cards, this person is holding up their hands, saying stop. I don't know if you can see that in there. And then here, they're saying stop. But there's something about this person offering you something that you don't want. Or this could have to do with money. Or you just want this person to stop. I don't, I don't know what this is, but... Um, there's stress here that's coming up in the near future and there's also a conflict that's coming up and it's like this conflict has to do with <laughs> the way that it's showing is like this person's delusional behavior like this person is like um, the example that I'm getting is somebody standing in front of you and Punching you in the face repeatedly over and over and over and over again. Let's say somebody walks up and nobody would respond this way and just stand there. But like if you were just standing there and not fighting back or not reacting or not not doing anything. You're just standing there and somebody punches you over and over again. And then as soon as they finish punching you, they're like, now accept my apology. That's what I'm getting off of this. It's like this person is trying to force you into... A friendship and at the bottom of this it says fantasy or mind it's like this is something that they are wanting now and they're trying to like fight you for it they're trying to force you into a friendship with them for somebody that's gonna make sense I don't know what 
this has to do with, but we're going to keep going. It has something to do with your fate. This could be something where this person was supposed to learn the consequences for their behavior whenever the way that they're treating people a certain way. Since what I was getting was something very obvious that you should not do, but it's like whoever this is, they have some sort of a disturbance on them. And they have like, they're having a withdrawal from your energy. They miss you. They want to be around you. <clears throat> but they've done something to you that they they could this person could have talked about you they could have tried to steal something from you this person could have tried to do something like pretending that you you're doing something to them there's just weird energy here let's see what else Your advice, you're being told that you're going to be given something. This looks like a gift from the divine. This could be a promotion. This could be something. Um, <coughs> this looks like you're receiving some sort of an upgrade. This could be spiritually. This could be in the 3D. There could be some sort of <laughs> actual promotion here. Or there's some title or something that you're going to be given because of your preparation and your goodness. And it looks like this is something that you're ready for now. This has something to do with morality. There's something here about... Um, it's like now you're ready for whatever this has to do with. For some of you, that's going to be significant. For others, you don't know what I'm talking about. But there's something about being given something. And it's like, this looks like it's from from someone from the divine from but like you're actually and this is going to be something that you feel within your spirit so for some of you it's going to be money others of you it's something about a spiritual upgrade this is going to be something that you gain that the, you gain um and whatever it is, it's going to put you in a space of being able to relax, of being able to preserve your energy. <coughs> There's some sort of a profit that you're going to be getting here. For some of you, this is your intuition and you are, you, you are a prophet. You're somebody who receives messages from the divine. There's something about a conclusion <coughs> or something about the fruits of your labors. Mm. this whoever this is there's also something about this person withdrawing from this behavior whatever it is that they're doing so that's what I'm seeing this person is they're going to come in and do something where they're trying to force a connection back together and then it's like they see that you're not you're not however you are now they cannot even reach you. They can't reach you to figure out how to talk to you, how to communicate what they should communicate, what it is that you want, what are, what could they offer you. There's something about, it's like when they speak, if they, if this, it's the way that it's feeling to me is if this person were to walk up to you and start talking to you, it's almost like, they would be speaking a language that you didn't understand. Or they, whenever they talk, it would just come out like... Um, it makes me think of the Charlie Brown movies where the adults are talking and it's just wah, 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 wah. And it's not, <laughs> there's no words that are coming with it. Because you and this person are so far out of alignment with each other that there's no way for them to speak to you. And so it's like they try to withdraw from their energy it looks like they they change a bunch of different times like they try to irritate you they try to be egotistical they try to pretend like they have all of this self-love but whatever this has to do with it's showing there's a misalignment here of something and it's like there's such a big contrast between you and whoever this is 
that that's what's showing up as good news here. So that's why this looks weird, is there's, they're still trying to do something. Let's see what else. And this is something that overloads this person. They feel like this is some obligation that they can't um, commit to correctly or achieve, or there's something where they, they're, this looks like karma, honestly. This looks like they did something and you have always been there and there's something about the divine or someone saying stop this partnership comes to an end now so let's see what else and this person's gonna end up lonely and this was all of this what has happened here this person coming in trying to steal your blessing or try to block your enlightenment or doing something where they tried to cut you off from the divine whatever you have been through up to this point the way that this started was you received some sort of divine intervention. This intervention could have been, it could have come to you in the form of an awakening. It could have come to you in the form of somebody coming in to help you, an actual person. This could have been kicked off by somebody saying something to you that made you have some sort of an epiphany. But there was something at the beginning of all of this where you had to have some sort of aid. For some of you, this was somebody that you had to go to for help to protect whatever this blessing is from all of this deceptive energy. For some of you, this has to do with children. There's something about <laughs> support and memories of the past and something about Someone trying to win at all costs. And this person feeling guilty now. This person could be stressed out and suffering over whatever dependency they used to have on you because that's been taken away. You're not there for them to lean on in whatever capacity that is. And this makes this person feel binded to whatever they have done. So there's something about them feeling obstructed or like they're stuck in some sort of a contract. This could be a karmic contract or something. An actual contract could, could be there that says, you know, they can't come towards you or they can't come near you. This could be a restraining order. They could be, they could be in a commitment with somebody else that is stressing them out. Whatever's, <laughs> whatever's happening here, with them trying to force themselves into your space and this this misalignment that's here this puts this person in a rage it's like they have some weird delusion of grandeur where they think that they're going to come back in and do something say something they think they have some trick up their sleeve where they're going to be able to force you to be friendly with them again and it's showing that it ends up in some sort of a dispute. And this has to do with fate. Because whatever they made their bed, like that's, that's here for them to lay in now. And this is going to cause them to um, go into some sort of a rage. This could be happening in front of a group of people. This could be something where somebody is like picking up their hands and putting them next to their face and yelling because they get so out of control. On this card, this person <coughs> looks like they have steam coming out of their head. So there's something about this person being hot-headed. This person could wear glasses. They could have short brown hair. They could have dark eyes. This could be their attorney. They could look similar to this person. Um, let's see what else. You've got good luck coming in. And <laughs> whatever you are doing right now to preserve your energy and relax, you need to stay in that energy and have... <laughs> because there's something that you already know is going to happen. And this person is going to experience some sort of um, accident or they, they're being cautioned to stop. 
and this is coming to an ending. There's a complete and total ending here for whatever it is that's going on. And this is something that's inevitable. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading there. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.